My name is Dr. Keith Phillips, and one of my research interests involves an area of contact between psychology and medicine. It's known as biofeedback, and it involves training people to regulate and control bodily responses. These responses normally occur automatically and are often beyond people's conscious awareness. They include responses such as heart rate, respira respiration or blood pressure. In order to record these responses, it's necessary to have some kind of electronic recording equipment and the type most commonly used is the polygraph that we see here. On this chart, you can see several physiological responses being recorded simultaneously. The top chart shows changes in respiration rate. The second chart shows changes in pulse volume, which represents the extent of the peripheral circulation. This graph shows momentary changes in heart activity, known as the electrocardiogram. And finally, this chart shows the changes in heart rate measured in beats per minute. All of these responses can be recorded from a person and they can be used to allow that person to gain control over these response systems. To display the physiological signal to the subject, it's necessary to use some form of feedback. This can take many forms, but a very simple and effective method is simply to take the signal from the polygraph and via a computer show that signal on a TV screen to the subject. And here you can see a subject watching changes in his heart rate as they occur on a second by second basis. This instance you can see on the TV screen a continuously changing graphical display. This shows our subject's heart rate as it changes each second you can see that the changes are shown relative to a central red baseline position. The heart rate that dis is displayed has been derived from the polygraph and the subject is given instructions either to try and increase or to decrease heart rate. In this case you can see that the subject is successfully maintaining heart rate below the baseline position. Using this type of technique, subjects can be trained by gaining knowledge of their own responses, how to comply with instructions either to increase or to decrease this particular response system. Biofeedback procedures are used both experimentally and clinically. Experimentally, biofeedback allows us to understand how people come to acquire and to execute responses. Clinically, it's been used as a therapy for a wide variety of disorders, including many stress-related disorders and some neuromuscular disabilities. In this department, we're using biofeedback as a means of investigating individual differences in the ability to control physiological responses. The hope is that this will lead to more effective treatment methods being available.